Hello, today we'll deal with the treatment of heart failure and we will specifically discuss the aldosterone antagonists or, or what we can also call mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists. Uh, I divide these videos to different uh, medication groups just to focus in on one medication group. Uh, for example, uh, I'll, when we give loop diuretics, the diuretics are usually given for all patients of heart failure uh, and we know that the diuretics are causing a, lo a low amount of potassium. These are called potassium losing diuretics because they, lo they lose a lot of potassium in through the kidneys when you give a lot of diuretics. This can be prevented by giving aldosterone antagonists. So we will give an aldosterone antagonist and then we will not get so a high amount of potassium secretion because hypokalemia is something that we get otherwise. That is a low level of potassium which can be deadly, so very dangerous. So please give always an aldosterone antagonist together with a loop diuretic. Okay, and now that we have this uh, aldosterone antagonist, then we need to continuously monitor the potassium level. We need to check the potassium level before we start to start this medication and after it. Because if we give a too much aldosterone antagonist, then you can get the opposite. You can get the too high amount of potassium, so hyperkalemia, so hyperkalemia. So this is, this should be in balance, and therefore you need to. Uh, um, you need to play with the doses. And what doses do we have? First of all, we have, for example, spironolactone or eplerenone. Spironolactone or eplerenone. These are two medications that all both can, we can both have a 25 milligram of uh, initial doses. Uh, which, which one do we prefer? Spironolactone is actually the most commonly used, but eplerenone is better than the spironolactone when it comes to side effect. Spironolactone can have gynecomastia as a side effect. This means that males can get female breasts. Now all males will be terrified because no male wants to have female breasts. And of course, this has to be t uh, told to the patient that uh, the, there, this is a rare side effect that can happen, but it can happen, okay? And, and therefore, epletanone is more commonly, uh, more commonly used when the patient does not want to have female breast. Uh, uh, 25 milligrams, as we said, initial doses, and then you can start to uh, increase this. The, the rule to start ulcer antagonist from the beginning is to have a lower amount of potassium than 5. The potassium level in the blood is usually between 3.5 and 5, or 3.5 to 5.5. Whenever you have a lower amount than 5, then you can start this aldosterone antagonist. As we said, we are afraid of getting hyperkalemia if we give too much aldosterone antagonist. So therefore, if the level is less than 5, then we can start aldosterone antagonist. And now that we have started it, and we see that the uh, um, potassium level starts to increase, it's getting between 5 to 5.5 in this range, then we need to reduce the dose of aldosterone antagonist. Or if it's get, getting more than 5.5, then we need to stop aldosterone antagonist. Because more than 5.5, then we are already in the level of moderate hyperkalemia and this has been dealt in another video and you can check out all the symptoms that can that can be caused by hyperkalemia and very it's very dangerous so both sides are dangerous hypokalemia and hyperkalemia if we have a lot of loop diuretics given which is given for all patients of heart failure then we get hypokalemia and therefore we need to give aldosterone to make that in the normal level but if we give too much aldosterone antagonist then we get into the hyperkalemia region so we need to play with the doses of aldosterone antagonists and also with the loop diuretics. And that's it. I thank you very much for listening.